So, I think the first ever smallmouth that I caught, and, and I can't even tell you the age, uh, maybe 11 or 12, so <laughs> many decades ago, was caught on a grub. And I feel like they're, they're generally forgotten about. And when I was at the, uh, the ICAST show last week, I was at the Do It Mold spoof, and I got that darter head mold at the end of the show. I'm like, can I leave with that, please? Because I want to I wanna get back to grub fishing. I figure that head is perfect for the grub. So I got a, I got a bunch of them. I stopped by Susquehanna Fishing Tackle um, near Columbia, Pennsylvania, here on the river. Picked up a couple different things. You know, I got some Z-Man minnows. You know, I got some other grubs. I got, I don't know, I got a bunch of stuff. This guy, I think that'll work. But I wanted to start with the grub, that one. And uh, I'm here at some white water uh, below, I guess it's the Route 30 bridge. And uh, it's where I'm gonna start with, see what I can get on a grub. And uh, this one, streaks, curly tails, you know, is, is got a big profile, which is nice. Uh, I think because it has this opening in the bottom, it'll collapse real well uh, when the fish hits it. So I'll go ahead and rig this up. And I got my new custom rod that uh, with the, the Batson blank and uh, Batson components and uh, the, the Keller Batson made for me. And uh, I'm gonna chuck a grub for a while. Did you forget about these? I forgot about these. I'm remembering them now, so. Look at that beautiful rod. All right, let's catch them up. So right now I'm just, I'm power fishing, fan casting, just chucking wine this, uh, this grub on the darter head. Uh, first really first few casts with the uh the lighter of the two jig rods that the caller made for me really happy with it uh it just you know I, I know i have a fishing rod in my hands but i only barely know that uh it's just super super lightweight lots of really nice quick casts and uh i've had a couple fish tug at the tail of the grub and you know with that elaztec you know, they get the end and I can absolutely feel that of that, of that grub and uh, know that, hey, there at least was a fish there that was, that was interested. Uh, I'm really looking forward to bottom bouncing with it, not just power fishing. Uh, you know, to be able to pick up, you know, really know when that bite comes when it's just sitting still. That's the real power and the reason why I had this, uh, you know, this rod built and the other one it's a little bit heavier. Okay, first one on the uh, this new rod. First one on the rod. Yeah, real feisty, uh, I don't know, probably 15 incher here. Liked the grub on those bridge pilings. Uh, I am gonna rotate through a bunch of different baits here. Uh, I did want to give the the new do it mold darter head some reps, and uh, you know, first fish on that new Batson rod. We'll get him back in. Um, I'm gonna rotate through and you're gonna see some other videos coming. I'm gonna do the Thunderhawk uh, crankbait next. Really just wind and grind with that. Uh, I'm gonna use the the new Hundo baits, Hundo reel to do that wind and grind with that, that, uh, that bait next. So keep watching, watch the next video. But man, I gotta, I gotta throw this, uh, Let's grab a few more times at that bridge piling because I think there were five or six of them following. So, yeah, that's uh, that's fun. 